When Pakatan Rakyat forms the government of Sarawak, we are going to emulate the governance of Penang. Penang implements the uh, CAC system of administration, which is standing for competency, accountability and transparency. For instance, we are going to make sure that state land will not be alienated to private individuals, but will be based on open tender. We are also going to implement an open tender system on government projects and government procurements. We believe that the power to manage resources of the state should not be vested in the hands of one person, including in the hands of the Chief Minister of the state. In addition, the Bakada Raya government is going to enact the Freedom of Information Ordinance, like the manner it was done in Selangor and also probably in Penang. The people of Sarawak had not had a fair share of the fruits of our own natural resources. Look at our timber. Licenses to lock our timber had been given only to a handful of companies. When we Pakatan Raya became a government, we will ensure that timber licenses are openly tendered out and the money from the tender to go into our, our state copper. Land is another issue. Tens and thousands of acres of land have been given to a few companies with a stroke of a pen. We will make sure that these land are tendered out and the money so received to go into our state treasury. Oil and gas. We will increase the oil royalty from 5% to 20%. When Pakata Raya becomes a government, we pledge to you that there will be transparency and accountability in dealing with all the natural resources in Sarawak so that the people of Sarawak will enjoy fully the fruit of our own natural resources. Pangan adalah uh, satu isu yang amat hangat dan uh, besar di uh, negeri Sarawak pada uh, waktu ini kita boleh menjekat kegiatan pembinaan bakun ini berjalan satu ialah melalui perundangan tetapi dia akan memakan masa yang panjang kedua ialah melalui political will ataupun secara politik dia ada satu alternatif dia adalah parti pakatan rakyat kerana parti pakatan rakyat sudah berjanji kalau mereka memerintah negeri Sarawak mereka akan menghapuskan semua pembangunan empangan ini Kerjaan Pakatan sudah berunding dengan orang asli dan mengkembalikan tanah yang mereka sudah bertahun-tahun sudah dibawa kepada mahkamah. Brain drain is one of the major problem faced by Sarawakians. In Johor alone, there are about 40,000 of Sarawakian who works there. Why is this so? Because these Sarawakian, especially the Chinese and Iban, they cannot find job in Sarawak. So they have to look for a uh, greener pasture in Johor. This is because of the unfair policy, employment policy in Sarawak. So if one day Pakatan right, yeah, take over the state government, we want to change this unfair policy, this unfair employment policy. We want to make sure that Sarawak and Anak Sarawak, they have a job opportunity in the state. We want the employment policy that is based on merits and ability and should not based on rest. In 
inflation may be um, uh, a phenomenon of market forces, but in Malaysia, it has been aggravated by government policies such as increasing prices of oil, reducing the subsidy for essential goods, but did not reduce corruption on the other hand. If we are the government, one way to help the people to reduce the cost of living is to remove the protectionism in automobile policies. The other way to combat um, inflation would be to enrich the people. I think the most important aspect would be to reduce corruption on the part of the government so that more money can be channeled into helping the poor and uh, the general public. Sekiranya Pakai Rakyat menjadi pemerintah di Sarawak, kita ada satu dasar. Dasar mengembalikan tanah, hutan, dan sungai kepada rakyat Sarawak. Kita akan menubuhkan satu pesuruhan jaya. Pesuruhan jaya ini akan diberi kuasa. Satu, untuk menyiasat uh, tuntutan atas hak atas tanah. Kedua, mereka akan diberi kuasa untuk uh, beri title atau grant balah tanah kepada sesiapa yang harus diberikan. Ketiga itu kita boleh menggezetkan kuasa kampung yang kita perlu uh, di, diistiharkan untuk kegunaan, uh, kegunaan orang kampung. Talking about sustainable forest management, we are talking about the use and the utilization of the forest resources for the future generations. Sustainable forest management in Sarawak is merely good on paper, but in practice, that is not so. You cannot have sustainable forest management if you ignore the rights of the natives whose livelihood depend quite substantially on the forest that is surrounding. Sustainable forest management can actually be carried out. If it comes to power, we have to actually have a full documentation of all the species that we have in whatever forest that we still have. You need a strong political will. The system has to be transparent. It has to be accountable. Infrastructure di negeri Sarawak seperti jalan raya, api dan air adalah amat uh, dipandang serius oleh Pekatan Raya. Kami akan plan, akan survey di manakah jalan yang diperlukan. Kita perlu uh, bawa jalan raya seberapa jauhnya untuk kegunaan raya. Yang kedua, kami juga melihat berapa pentingnya elektrisiti ataupun karen. Ini saya percaya tidak ada sebab-sebab uh, kita tak dapat bawa api kepada tempat yang yang jauh. Poin yang ketiga adalah air. Kita akan bawa gravity feed ataupun cara-cara macam mana kita bawa treated water supaya uh, bersih ataupun selamat untuk kegunaan raya. Kita perlu bawa infrastruktur itu kepada rakyat di seluruh negeri Sarawak. Masyarakat di luar bandar telah uh, amat ketinggalan uh, daripada mengikuti arus arus apa nama pembangunan di segi pendidikan. Kami dalam Pekatan Rakyat uh, Ba'azam untuk membasmikan segala terkenan ini untuk membantukan anak tinatus ke universiti jadi kita akan memberikan bantuan berupa beasiswa yang betul-betul boleh membantu orang miskin supaya terus dapat menyambung belajar sampai ke pengajian tinggi kita akui memang ada klinik-klinik tapi klinik-klinik kadang kadang-kadang kita nak ambil ubat tak ada ubat pun jadi kita kalau boleh Membanyakkan lagi klinik-klinik di beberapa beberapa kampung, misalnya di daerah-daerah, kita tambahkan doktor 
di, di, di hospital hospital di daerah-daerah supaya memudahkan atau ada orang boleh jumpa doktor apabila uh, terkena sakit. Isu otonomi bagi Sarawak penting sekali kerana ia akan memberi peluang kepada Sarawak berkembang dan membangun selaras dengan uh, kehendak negeri itu dan keperluan negeri Sarawak. Negeri Sarawak diberi satu prioriti untuk menggunakan hasil ini, royalty ini, untuk membangunkan Sarawak. Perintah negeri Sarawak akan diberi kuasa yang bebas untuk mentabirkan Sarawak dalam beberapa bidang pentadbiran. Kita percaya dengan otonomi ini, Sarawak akan dinaik tarafnya dan diberi kedudukan yang selaras dengan kehendak rakyat Sarawak.